Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Game Developer Tycoon. Um, I did it again didn't I? It's just Game Dev Tycoon but thank you for all of the feedback on the previous episodes. Um, the likes were really appreciated and this game is just really popular right now. You guys like watching it, I like playing it and do you know what? I think it's because of the music half the time. The music is really chilled out and easy to listen to. Um, and yeah. So anyway, right, what are we going to be doing this episode? Well, in the last one we made our hit, which is called Paranormal Mysteria, and that was a hit game that made us loads of money. Um, so now we want to work towards our next game. And I've been reading the comments, so there was a really interesting tip left in one of the previous episodes. So we're going to develop a new game, and we're going to make a military game that is a adventure or an RPG I've got written down here, because military doesn't work well with either of those games. Now what we might get from doing this is a multiplier because we're making a dummy game here so that we can level up um, and what I've been doing before is just making a combination that I've done previously. Now we don't want to release at any point a military adventure game because it won't sell very well um, but if we use it in training then maybe we'll make um, some more combination points so we'll make a multiplier and we're doing this on the PC by the way. Um, and then yeah, you know how it works. So we'll do that on the game engine one as well because that's a cheaper um, engine to work with to develop the game. And so we are going to find out if we can get some multipliers on our bogus games basically. Um, we're going to do this with text-based graphics because we are just trying to save as much money as we can while the income comes in. And with 4 million we have quite some time to develop bogus games and just level up and stuff like that which is going to be uh, interesting to see. None of this really matters, however I would like to focus on being an RPG uh, game company because they seem to be the most successful and I've been reading some comments that say if you continually do the same um, category with different topics, so sorry category, genre of game with different topics, um, you can actually build up quite a reputation for that and so that's something I'd like to do. Um, so we're going to put all the sliders in favour of doing RPG games at the moment just so my guy will get leveled up on those. Um, however, when you do move out to the next level, it seems like your character always has 300 design and technology points, so it might be completely useless doing this as well. Uh, but there we go, we made 4.5 million, and the game that I made in my test uh, environment made 6 million. So you can do better than what we did there, because remember I made a big mistake in the last episode. I developed a game engine way too early, you actually just need to develop it for when the game link comes out. That seems to be the best way um, to do that. Let's get yeah, let's get our graphic and sound leveling up as well at least. Let's pull down a bit on that. Never really focus on sound, and I think I made a racing game on here. We can actually check that quickly. Another comment left in the comments was that um, I made a racing game and I didn't focus on sound. Yeah, runner was like, no, that's sports. <laughs> what am I on about? Um, but it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You know, you like to hear the car, and sound is actually a big part of racing, in a way. There you go. So that did have a lower score. Maybe sound had something to do with that. Who knows? Maybe we'll make another one of those in the future. Um, but we are almost done now. Again, we just want to click finish as soon as possible. We're not worried about the bugs because we're not releasing this. Okay, the G64 is off the market. Yep, that is fine. Um, so, let's have a look. See, we've got a new combo. So we managed to get a multiplier on a trash game. And that is not a waste right there. So that is a really good tip. <laughs> you might want to go back and start over again. You know, play the most efficient game you can. Um, but anyway, let's trash that. Yep, and that is something I think I'll be doing with this game. Long after I do my YouTube videos, um, I think I'm going to continue playing, continue trying to um, you know, have the most efficient and successful game possible. Anyway, um, right, so we just developed a trash game. We do actually want to do another one of those, I think. Um, we know that the multiplier thing works, so we will do the military, and we are going to do um, an RPG. I think we did adventure last time, I hope we got that right. Again, on the PC. Um, one experiment I would like to do is see if developing a trash game but putting more money into it will actually affect the XP that I get. Um, and I am really bad at tracking what I do when I talk because, I don't know, it's just like that, you know. Um, I was trying to track the research points in a previous episode and loads of people in the comments were telling me exactly how many I got, which was interesting. Um, I didn't even think that I could, of course, just watch back the video after and check things like that. Um, but we will get 11 research points, I think, for this one. Now, when we started, I thought we had 50. Maybe we had 60 points. 
See what I mean? I'm struggling to keep track of things already. Um, and now I've, to be honest, completely forgotten how many we had when we started this. So I'm sure some of you will be watching it and let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I need to figure that one out. How how we can get more out of our trash games, basically. Because the more research points, the better. So let's finish that game. We don't need to fix any bugs. See, we get the new combo again. And we've leveled up a ton of stuff here. That's awesome. Um, so we will trash this game. Yes, of course we will. I'm just thinking, what are we going to do next? Do we want to make another trash game? It's really not costing us a lot to develop them. Uh, we can now research... Uh, yeah, we don't want to move out. We can now research character development. Let's have a look at creating a custom engine. So how much does it cost at the moment? 200,000, that's no problem at all. And then if we go to research, we want to include all of these things that you see right here into it. So uh, 2D graphics is the most expensive, but just doing some quick maths all of that costs under half a million I think so we could actually afford to research all of this however how many research points is it going to cost us probably more than we have it definitely looks like that especially 2d graphics and um, if we build a game engine with 2d graphics in that's going to be a big one right there so I think that we should research that I also have written down the next game that I want to do I want to do medieval and RPG um, yeah, and we'll do that on the game link. So that'll be part of our new game engine. And then we want to research a couple of these other ones as well. Uh, we don't have the points for it at the moment, but anyway, let's do that. I'm thinking we should research the gamepad would be a good idea. And just a couple of those things. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, there's not much to say at the moment. Just waiting for the research to go by. And then we will do some more. We're definitely going to have to make some more bogus games, I think. But there you go. And I have no idea if the technology in the engine is what increases, you know, the rating of the game when you have a new engine that comes out. And hopefully it is, because that's what I'm kind of um, basing it on at the moment. So we're going to go with... Didn't I say the gamepad? And there, we've already researched that. What am I on about? Okay. Um, let's go for better dialogues. Um, actually, what affects an RPG the most? I'd say better dialogues, and that's probably it, really. So we'll go with that one. Start the research on that. And then we need to figure out how much this new game engine is going to cost us. Uh, and how much time do we actually want to spend, you know, making trash games? Because we might miss out on the opportunity to make some big selling games. The gameling's popularity will decline over time. We do have a lot of money to sit on at the moment, anyway. Um, so create custom engine, 2D graphics in there, that's going to cost, um, I guess you wouldn't include that, right, because that would be pointless, you're always going to use the best graphics available, and then better di dialogue, so quarter of a million, I think we could put more into our new game engine, so um, we want to develop another trash game, um, I don't have a bad combination written down, I was only planning on developing two of these, if I think about it, I think a pirate action game, We've already done one pirates, so that's fine, but an action one, I don't think that goes down very well, so uh, we will do that on the PC as always. And we will use the original game engine. <clears throat> and do all of this again. So yeah, I need to do that experimenting at some point, but not right now. Um, so we will develop this game. And then I think we actually might need to develop one or two more, just so we get enough research points to get all the extra things for our new game engine okay so this is going to be a bit boring now I think it would be a good time to make a little cut skip all the uh, uninteresting stuff okay so we have leveled up on story and quests you see we got the multiplier again so we can trash that game yep that is fine we can also do branching story now so what do we want for our RPG game we want Actually, branching story is the only one that really fits into it. Maybe we'll put in the joystick. Um, and that's going to cost us 40 research points. So let's develop another game because we have 26 right now. And if you remember, 11 was the number we were getting before the trash games. But that was of a topic that we had already done. So this time we are going to do... Wait a minute. I mean combination because we've done medieval... Uh, sorry, no, pirate and medieval and mid military. We've done all of those a couple of times. Um, so this time we're going to do pirate... And we are going to go with RPG, because that's not a good combination. And Action was the one we did last time. Again, on the PC for its low development cost and with the game engine one. 
Um, so if we get 11 points out of this one, we will have 37 when we finish, which will be three points short. Uh, maybe just to do that, I might do some of the um, hired work. I forget what that's called, you know, we don't do that now. Um, and it won't appear on that. <laughs> and our next game, we need to do some marketing with as well. That's something I do not want to forget, because it could be a really big hit, especially if we invest some money early on. And I'm confident now that I can invest a fair bit of money into marketing. I'm not going to go with the half a million option because I haven't actually experimented with that before. And it could be that the difference while you're a small company isn't enough to justify um, the cost. So, yeah, we are not going to do that. <laughs> okay, All right, he's scratching his head again. He's thinking about something. So, um... I just forgot for a second what it is we were keeping track of. It is the research points. Look at that. So 37 was the number um, that we were going to get. But with this extra combination, it looks like we are going to get a lot more than that. Look at that. We've got on almost 21 points from that. That is awesome. Okay, so there we go. The combo helped again. Dialogues and world design has been leveled up. Let's trash that game. Um, is there anything else there that we can improve? Maybe make one more trash game... You see, if we focused on engine and sound with one more trash game, then maybe that would be a little bit better for the next one, but I don't think that's too important. It's probably a good idea to uh, get on with it and actually start developing our new game. Okay, we do not want to move out, that's fine. And um, We are going to research this one down here, Dialogues. So we're going to add the Dialogue tree for our RPG game. Uh, which isn't 100% focused on that stuff actually, that's more suited to adventure, but if we focus around RPG and adventure games, I think that's going to be best because you can aim it at the young audience and that always seems to have the largest market. Although supposedly later in the game, mature games become um, really successful on the PC as well, which kind of follows the natural history of things. So we've researched that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, it's now time for us to create our custom engine. So we're going to save 50,000 there. We're not going to name our engine again, I can't be bothered to do that. Um, so this thing is going to cost us a fair amount of money, but we have loads in the bank, that is great. And then after this we're going to develop yeah, a new game on this, and I think I said it was going to be a medieval RPG. I'm going to aim it at a young audience, put it out on the gameling, so that will be a new combination. Um, also the new game engine should build hype, we're going to do the marketing early, and this is going to be a successful game, I'm pretty sure of it. So. My estimation is that it's going to make about 5 million, and I hope I'm right on that because that's a nice amount of money. I could be wrong. Uh, the most it seems you can make on a gambling game is around 6 in the beginning, so that would obviously be the best result. Um, anyway, I'm just going to skip this bit again because it is a little boring. Okay, there we go. The engine is complete. It is time to make um, our ultimate game. I just want to look at the research quickly. There is nothing there. Yeah, that we need because sometimes you research something and it gives you the option immediately rather than putting it into a game engine but there's none of that there so we will develop a new game it's going to be oh I haven't even thought of a name <laughs> and it's a medieval game so oh, let's call this skull and bones that's that's more pirate isn't it <laughs> okay I might have to think about that one for a second um, so medieval RPG on the game link with our new game engine. Um, so I'm definitely going to think for a minute on the name for this game. Okay, so I thought about it for a bit and uh, there is like a medieval myth or part of medieval mythology about a race of angels that fell from grace called the Seraph. So I thought I'd call this game Fall of Seraphs. Um, I go overboard with this stuff. Like I just sat here and thought about this for 10 minutes and I want to know, do you guys do that as well when you get to the name of the game you have to pick something that you think looks awesome um, it's completely useless it has no influence of course on um, <laughs> the game's results but yeah there you go um, so let me know in the comments do you guys do that as well uh, it appears that we have skipped oh no that's because we didn't include it in the engine okay that's fine so 2d graphics mark 3 um, this game has cost us 90,000 already you can see our cash reserves are starting to go down um, but this is going to be an RPG game, wasn't it? Yeah, it says it right there. That's great. Okay, so we need to focus on the story, not so much the gameplay. Um, let's add in all of this stuff right here. There we go. <laughs> and so 
after that we need to focus on dark. See, I've got it all written down. <laughs> I've done it so many times, but I always have to uh, refer to it. That's actually exactly what we want right there. Um, so we are going to do all of that. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, it's art artificial intelligence we didn't need anything for, and it's not listed there. And then on the final stage, we need to focus on the world design, not so much the graphics and sound. Okay, like that. Um, we will put in the mono sound though, and also the open world. And I haven't been keeping track. You can see the side of the screen gets cut off here. That's kind of annoying. Um, I think that's because of the resolution, or sorry, the aspect ratio of my screen is 16 to 10 rather than 16 to 9. So it isn't really uh, compatible for that. Right, but we... Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do marketing. Oh, man. Okay, we are just going to... We're just going to do the basic marketing now. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> I got all distracted by trying to figure out a name for the game. Um, anyway, we'll give it a moment. Let's see if the hype goes up or we get an extra design or technology point. Doesn't look like it though, and the hype's going down. So, big mistake right there. If you're trying to learn from watching me play, which some of you say you're doing, um, don't make mistakes like that. And yet, we've got all of the multipliers there. Our engine has gone up a level as well, that's cool. Let's just skip all of this, we've seen it tons of times before. And let's release the game. Okay, cool. Uh, no, we do not want to move out. And so we want to start developing a bogus game again. And I think our, yeah, our thing was pirate and then just picking a, uh, a platform, it, or sorry, a genre it didn't work with. So we'll go with simulation. Uh, we'll develop that on the PC and then Game Engine 1. So let's just blast through this quickly. Oh, I'm really annoyed that I forgot to do the marketing. <laughs> okay, let's see the reviews. Eight. Nine, that's good. Come on, maybe some more nines. Another eight. And another nine. So, 8.5 overall. Let's compare that to the rating of our previous game then game which is not letting me uh, click on at the moment. Let's get rid of all of this so we save money. I think I might... No, I'm pretty sure I selected uh, text-based graphics. Anyway, um, game history. So the previous one was a 9.5, so we really lost out on some points and we didn't do the marketing. Oh, <laughs> I've said it before. When I'm doing my commentating, I forget just so much stuff. It's really annoying. We also have tons of research points, by the way, so we can do some more of that. Okay, we want to get rid of that option there. And the sales are still coming in. That's good. Okay, so Garage Games surprises again with a very enjoyable game. A true achievement in interactive storytelling in the characters and captivating scenarios. Just stick in your mind. To Garage Games, keep this hit coming. Uh, keep these, keep the hits coming, please. <laughs> By Jorg Longner of Game Nova. Well, that's uh, encouraging. People want to see us do more of those sorts of games, so we will continue to develop in that direction. Let's decrypt the message. Okay, I don't actually want to do this anymore. I keep seeing these come through, and I just... I don't know, I can't help but feel there'll be some backlash for it at some point. We don't really need it right now. And um, what we do need to do is research a new topic. Uh, we can't do that at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're... Oh, excuse me, we're developing a trash game. And look, the... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the game would have been very bad. The points are very low there, so let's trash that. And let's do some research straight away. And um, what do we want to go with? A new topic. Okay, I have no idea which one of these is going to be good. Although I don't think any of them will do well on the game link particularly. So let's just go with uh, UFO. And then we'll unlock another one after that. And let's have, have a look at how much money we made as well on our game. 2 million, not a lot, you see. I really messed up there. we got to, we got to come back with an even better game soon. Damn it. I think... I don't know, maybe the marketing wouldn't have made that much of a difference, but yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take another cut. Okay, we finished doing our UFO research. We're just going to research a few more topics, and then I'll prepare for uh, <laughs> the next game. I'll just figure out what combination of game and uh, topic we're doing. So these ones aren't particularly good as well. Um, I think we'll go with City. And then hopefully we'll unlock something that will be well, or will go down well on the game link. And then we'll try for another game in the future. However, we're going to be developing more trash games, I think. 
Yes, I only made 2.6 million. I was hoping to make so much more than that. Hmm, I'm wondering if maybe we should wait for the next console to come out. And there it is. <laughs> so when does that come out? Oh, I think it just came out today. So maybe we can make a game on that console next. That could be a plan. But we do need some better topics. So let's research yet another one. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so, <laughs> dance. Don't really want to do a dance game, let's just go with hacking. Oh, I'm going to have to research a load of these, aren't I, to get a good topic. And it seems like they're always random. Well, they are random every time. You get your basic, like, five or six, I think it is, and then all the other topics underneath it are random. Okay, we've researched that. Let's see if we can get a decent topic. Wild West. I've got a feeling that will go down well as an adventure game, maybe, or an RPG on... The Tez, so yeah. Right, let's start the research. Anyway, I'm going to call it that for this episode. Next episode, we will be developing trash games and building up to a new game engine and releasing it on the new console, and hopefully, that'll make us a load of money. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.